but right now is when I got to watch her and make sure that she doesn't lay down and any of these little guys are uh, in her way or underneath her. That's the one of the many benefits of having rice holes as bedding. Now if she'd stepped on that baby pig's foot uh, on a cement floor or even a plastic, the plastic grates floor, it would have broken its foot, uh, plain and simple. Uh, she weighs probably in excess of 300 pounds. Uh, maybe, yeah, she's looking, yeah, just say 300 pounds. And so she's uh, at least 75 pounds of weight on each one of her feet. And the, her foot is about this big around. So having a, a small foot that size, and she might even go 400 pounds, uh, having a foot that size, that much weight, and maybe two or three square inches, 30 or 40 pounds per square inch is what was stepping on that baby's foot. And if it had been on cement or on plastic, it would have broke it, no questions asked. But in these rice holes, there's give. Uh, it cushions it, spreads it out, and uh, no broken foot. There's so many people keep asking me why why did we change to these rice holes? There's so many benefits. Uh, it eliminates the odor. Uh, it's easier to keep clean. It's better for the sows, it's better for the gilts, it's better for everything. It's better for these piglets when they're born. Uh, would you like to be born on a cold, wet cement floor? Uh, I wouldn't. Uh, everyone's, a few people have commented, well, it's so labor intensive. You've had to do so much, uh, yet it seems like we do so much work uh, for the rice holes and that it's more work than it would be with the cement. Well, trust me, Marcel and I spent uh, six hours a day, both of us, so that's 12 man hours, uh, cleaning these pens when they were cement. 12 man hours a day. And now, I would say it's about an hour and a half. And that involves just scooping the poop out. Uh, it has been a lot of work to change the pens over, uh, because, you know, that's what happens when you don't do things right the first time. Uh, and it's about uh, every three months this pen would take about 12, 12 man hours to change the rice holes out of it. But overall, overall, there, every, every point about the rice holes is a good one. It's less labor, it's much less water, it's much less time to be cared for, it eliminates 99.9% .9 of the smell, it, it eliminates the need for a septic tank for a piggery, it's just, it, all, there's just so many things, so many benefits from the ride soles, and that's why we changed to it. Tatai, let's see if we can get her to lay down. Let's see if we can get her to go down. There's a fly on the lens there. Yep, she's going to go down quick, I'm thinking. Come on, Mama, lay down. You know you want to lay down and have some more babies. Or at least let these eat. I really don't want another sow that uh, won't nurse her piglets. Down, Mama. She's not wanting to lay down. I don't want her to get it into her head to come out either.
All right, well, I got her laid. Down. I got in there, and one thing with Sal's. Mm -hmm. Tata was trying to get her laid down and for like five minutes and she just wouldn't, didn't want to do it. A trick is if gentle rubbing and I don't know, I don't want to make it sound kinky, but if gentle rubbing and caressing of her udder, of her bag, doesn't get her to lay down, then you've got to be forceful with it. Uh, then you got to get after it like you're kneading bread. And uh, so I, I, I went in and did that and actually uh, worked a little milk out um, so that her milk would come down. I actually squirted some out of her teats and then she went right down. And, uh, just that squatting in there and pulling on her just gently to the side wore me out. But she's got, how many does she have in there? Four, eight, ten. She's got ten. Uh, the first one was stillborn. All right, well, I got her laid down. I got in there, and one thing with Sal's, Tata was trying to get her laid down and for like five minutes, and she just wouldn't, didn't want to do it. A trick is... If gentle rubbing and, I don't know, I don't want to make it sound kinky, but if gentle rubbing and caressing of her udder, of her bag, doesn't get her to lay down, then you've got to be forceful with it. Uh, then you got to get after it like you're kneading bread. And uh, so I, I, I went in and did that and actually uh, worked a little milk out. Um, so that her milk would come down. I actually squirted some out of her teats and then she went right down. And, uh, just that squatting in there and pulling on her just gently to the side wore me out. But she's got, how many does she have in there? Four, eight, ten. She's got ten. Uh, the first one was stillborn. Um, but she hasn't delivered her placenta yet, so she's not done. Um, she could have more. And because of the small size of these piglets, I'm thinking that there's quite a few more in there. There could be quite a few more in there, because they're fairly small. Usually, that little guy there, a little tiny one, is just so close to being able to get on that boob. But he's just not... There you go, right there, little buddy. There you go, you did it. Oh, that's a good thing to see. You know, even as little as a teaspoon, uh, I don't know how many milliliters a teaspoon is, but even that small amount uh, makes all the difference to one of these little piglets in the world. Uh, it gives them that little shot of colostrum, gives them some energy back, because although it's, uh, it's stressful on the mother to give birth to them uh, because she's contracting and, and her body's naturally pushing them out, 
Now it's stressful on the piglets as well because uh, they're fighting against those contractions uh, to not be crushed, let's put it that way. And they're, they're struggling because they don't know what's going on, so uh, their energy is a little bit depleted. And just that little taste of milk is all they need to get raring. And that little tiny one is locked onto that one right there and is going to town. Good for you, little one. The rest of them I'm not too worried about because they, they're big enough to fend for themselves, most of them. And uh, they're all pushing each other out of the way and making it happen. So good, good for them. If I, if any more, if this sow has any more piglets, then we'll, uh, I'll put it in the bubble, in a bubble at the end of it to give you the final number. But uh, ten out of eleven surviving so far. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.